everyone, I'm going to quickly show you how to make this project right here. Um, you can use this for your kids' room, for your scrap room, um, and you can customize it um, to whatever you want it to say. It's just a really fun project to make. And what I used was the Autumn Leaves Stampology license plate stamp set. And I got this at Michael's. It's on clearance for $4.99. And then for the letters, I used the Making Memories. Um, it has the uppercase and lowercase um, stamp set. So let me quickly show you. Um, this I went ahead and stamped it on some white cardstock. And then I used the black stays on ink. Okay. So um, now what we're going to do is I use three colors. I'm going to make this one because I did two different kinds. So we're going to go ahead and make this one. And I use the aged mahogany first. So let's go ahead and get our distress tool. And I hold the tool down here. I just get a better grip that way. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and work our way into the cardstock. And then you can pretty much just, you know, distress it to get to the color um, that you like. Okay, and then I'm going to go in with the broken china. Okay, and then I'm going to go with um, the vintage photo. So those are the three colors I use, aged mahogany, broken china, and then vintage photo. And you can always add more if you like, if it's um, not the color you like. And that's the nice thing about distressing, you can always go back. Okay, I think I'm going to add a little bit more broken china in there. I'm just going to do certain areas with the license plate. And this will make a really um, nice project for Father's Day. Uh, maybe if your husband has like his own tool room or his own hobby room, you can make one for him too. So I went ahead and did that, and then I'm going to take the Tattered Angels um, Patina Glimmer Mist. And this video is for you, Leslie, because Leslie wanted Arlene and I to do a video on how to use the Tattered Angels. And I just twirl it. And um, you can tap it if you like. Just don't shake it, okay? Because you don't want to create um, bubbles and it's going to clog your um, spout there. So uh, now I'm just going to spray um, the center right here because as you can see on here, or here's another example. The blue is only in the center of the license plate. So I'm just going to spray there. Now I take a paper towel only because I don't want the spots on this project. I know some people like the spots, but um, for this one I don't want the spots. So as you can see, the blue is only in the center. Okay. And then I'm going to take the marshmallow, which I'm loving a lot. Um, next to the pearl. Pearl is still my favorite, but I'm liking the marshmallow too now. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and spray it on the entire license plate. Okay, and this one I'm not going to worry about um, using the paper towel because it's a light color. You won't really see the spots as much. So let me just go ahead and heat set that. Okay. And then I'm just going to edge it with some Adirondack paint dauber in black. And then I basically, where these holes are right here, I um, punched it out with my big bite. I'm using the 316 punch. And then I added those extra, I mean, not the extra large, the large eyelets. And then um, that's what it looks like. 
And then I just basically um, cut some of the images from the Mariposa collection. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut this um, butterfly real quick here to add a little accent to the license plate. And um, this is a really fun project to make. I enjoyed making this. And this is also a great gift for someone. You can, I actually made one for um, Regina. So let me sh finish cutting. I'm not doing my best of my cutting because my battery's kind of running low here. And then I just um, take a dimensional sticker. I'm just gonna cut a little piece of a dimensional sticker, add it to the back of the butterfly. And then just kind of bend the wings a little bit and then just add it right there. And there you go, Got a simple license plate. And then I just adhered some thin chipboard to the back to make it a little bit more sturdy. And then for here, these are hung with some of those um, jump rings. I got these at Beverly's and they're pretty big size, so I hung three of them. I'm sure Michael's or Joanne's carries it. So give it a try. It's a really fun project. And thanks for watching. Bye.